Go Gophers! Friday was the Green City School District's homecoming, and it was also a special birthday celebration. It's going to be kind of interesting this year with 100 years. We've done a lot of going back and looking through old yearbooks, and, and uh, we got our bicentennial book and going back and looking at the facts about the school. And so a lot of kids have been looking through that. It's, it's been really informational for them to see uh, the history of the school and, and Green City overall. Although the school started in 1903, it wasn't until 1915 when they consolidated that they took on the mascot of the Gopher. And the Gopher wasn't the only one celebrated at homecoming this year. Some might come back for the homecoming games, and so we'll have them sign in here. And then in between the games, we will um, have the alumni stand up, we recognize them, and we will have a prize for our two oldest alumni that are here. The cheerleading and dance teams decorated for the event with the help of the art teacher and yearbook staff. They spent hours after school and hours of the evening to make the posters, and each class makes a poster, and they have a poster contest um, to see you know, which class wins the, wins the poster contest. Um, all week, the students have dressed up for Spirit Week. And after some digging into the history of the Gopher and Green City, student and teachers say they're a little closer. Probably the biggest eye-opener to me was the, the buildings. I didn't realize what the older school buildings looked like. And we had a lot of older community schools too. So we had schools in Greencastle and Winnegan and very, like various places before they built the, built the school here in Green City. Just looking at the uniforms and stuff, it's, I think it would be cool to actually wear one of them. It's pretty fun. I like being a gopher. I've been a gopher since second grade. It's fun.